We start with four, but in the end there can be only one. Kia ora, I'm Chris Kirk and this is Brain Busters. Who has the mind power to make it all the way through the rounds and end up at this? The Brain Buster. Stay fresh with your man Mikey Falesium. I don't know about you at home, but the best two players that make it here to the Brain Buster are in for a treat. Will they be up for the challenge, Chris? You know they will, Mikey. And don't forget, you can play from home as well. So let's meet today's Brain Busters. And welcome to Brain Busters. Today we have four players hoping they've got what it takes to be called the ultimate brain buster. We'll start with Mega Memory before we make our way into our specialist subject rounds where our players can choose from six of our options. They'll hope to get enough points to stay in this game and avoid elimination. So let's meet our players now. Firstly, Raghavi, welcome to the show. So here you a bit of a dancer. What kind of dancing do we do? A South Indian dance called Bharatanatyam. Wow, can you tell us a little bit about that? So I've been learning about um, since I was five years old. Love it? Yeah. Awesome. Hope we're going to love that brain buster just as much. And Marie, art's your thing. Now, I've heard we've, we've created a bit of a comic strip. Yes, so in my school comic, um, school magazine, there is a section where we get to do a comic, so I applied for that and I ended up getting the job. So does that mean you're like a, a published artist then? No, it's just for our school. I think technically though, it's in the school magazine, so... Maybe. I reckon we'll call it that. Yup, great to have you here on the show. Sport's your thing? Yep. What do we play? Football. Football. Do we watch football as well as play it? Oh, uh, yeah. Who do we support? Liverpool. Liverpool. Favourite player? Virgil van Dijk. My man, you're great to have you here on the show. And we've also got Jesse, a fellow footballer as well. Who do we support? Phoenix. Good lad, awesome. Well, it's great to see that we've got four fierce competitors here. So let's get straight into it and play Mega Memory. 10 points for a correct answer here on Mega Memory, but buzz in and get the wrong answer, you will lose 10 points. A lot at stake. So let's get into our first round. Good luck, everyone. Your time starts now. In the film Brave, what colour hair does Merida have? And it... Orange. What New Zealand kids TV show starts at 8am on a Sunday morning? Jesse. What now? What is tofu made of? Anne-Marie. Curdled milk. Soybeans. Oh. How many sisters does Bart Simpson have? Anne-Marie. Two. When spelling the word debt, what letter comes before the T? Jesse. B. What cartoon show features Team Rocket? Anne Marie. Pokemon. Rhyming with must, what word describes a reddish brown iron oxide? Anne Marie. Rust. Which mobile network company's logo is a quotation mark? Jesse. Vodafone. In the Mario franchise, how many Mario brothers are there? Anne Marie. Two. What company makes iPhones? Anne Marie. I. Oh, Apple. Which is not a musical key? C major or J minor? Anne Marie. J minor. That is time up for Mega Memory. Thanks to everyone for playing our first round. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Anne Marie has the lead with 40 points. Jesse has 30 points. Raghavi is on zero, and Yulp is on zero as well. So now we move into our specialist subject round, and seeing that we have a tie between Raghavi and Yulp, we will go from left to right. Meaning, Raghavi, you get to start us off. So, what would you like to play? Blueprinter. Thank you very much. Let's play Blueprinter. Raghavi, please step forward. How's your memory, Raghavi? Um, good, I guess. <laughs> good. Well, you picked Blueprinter, so hopefully it's pretty good. Yeah. 30 seconds to have a look at what your Blueprinter is. 30 more seconds to put in your answers after that. Best of luck, Raghavi. Thank you. Here comes your Blueprinter. It's the Aratere into Islander Ferry. Good luck. Your time starts now. The longest serving ship in the Inter-Islander fleet, Aratiri can carry up to 600 passengers and span over 180 metres in length. There's a food court, cinema and a lounge along with viewing decks to keep you entertained on your journey. 
15 seconds left. That's time, 30 seconds on the clock to put in your answers, which starts now. Halfway. All put in. So, Ragavi, how are we feeling about our choices there? Um, OK, I guess. <laughs> OK. Yeah. Well, fingers crossed, and let's start revealing. First one, please. <coughs> Toilets is correct. <coughs> but that is not where the plus lounge is. <coughs> That's not the Hector store either, sorry. <coughs> Oh, the movie theatre. <laughs> not looking good. Come on, Ragavi, we need some green. <laughs> oh, no, that's not family lounge. Outdoor seating, come on, finish strong. <laughs> yeah, there we go, Ragavi. All right, bit of a tricky one there for Blue Printer, but nice work taking on the challenge first up as well. Thank you for playing Blue Printer. Thank you. Ragavi is now first equal with Anne-Marie, but we still have plenty more specialist subject rounds to come. In fact, we're going to do it right now. So next up is Yulp. What would you like to play? Equalizer. Excellent, Yulp. Let's play Equalizer. Yulp, please step forward. Yulp, can you tell us a little bit about your name, please? Um, it's a Dutch name. Yep. Uh, you spell it with J-O-E-P. But then pronounce it Yulp. Yeah. Very cool. So, were you born here in New Zealand? Uh, no. Um, I've been, I was born in the Netherlands. Awesome. How long have you been in New Zealand for? Uh, exactly one year today. Well, it's great to have you here, Yulp. Let's get straight into Equalizer now. 20 points for each correct equation. Here we go. Three quarters of 36 equals... 12. 27. 10 times 8 times 10 equals... 800. Correct. 8 times 4 equals... 32. Now we're getting somewhere. 113 minus 15 divided by 2 equals 44. It's a couple away. 49 was the answer to the final one there, Yulp. Some tricky ones, but awesome job taking on Equalizer. Thank you, Yulp. York now also joins Ragavi and Anne-Marie at top of the table. So we still have two more players to take on their specialist subject rounds, though. And, of course, all of our players are hoping they've got what it takes to go head to that brain buster. It's about to go down for our final two players. We have tested their mental skills, but how are their physical skills? Let's find out. Kia ora, Mikey. We'll be finding out very soon. In the meantime, don't forget you can play from home as well. Just hop online to Hey Hey Games. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you a Muri Te Whakata. Kia ora anō. Welcome back to Brain Busters. Just before the break, we had Ragavi and Yulp take on their specialist subject rounds. And coming to the front now is Jesse. So, Jesse, what will you be playing today? Sequencer. Thank you very much, Jesse. Let's play sequencer. Jesse, please step forward. All right, you've seen a few other people take on this special subject round. Jesse, so how are you feeling? Nervous. Ready to get some good points? Yeah. Let's get into it now. Good luck, Jesse. Here comes your first sequencer iPad, iPhone, iPod. Sort these Apple products in order of initial release date from earliest to most recent. <phone rings> Trying to get off to a good start here is Jesse. <phone rings> and that's how we do it. Nicely done, Jesse. 
digital camera, Polaroid camera, pinhole camera. In which order were these image capturing technologies invented? Needed to swap pinhole and Polaroid camera around. Nico Porteous, Sir Edmund Hillary, Sir Ernest Shackleton. From least to most recent, when were these snow loving people born? Nicely done, Jesse. We sigh of relief there. New York Yankees, Manchester United, Los Angeles Lakers. In what order were these sports teams established? Plays a bit of football as well, Jesse. Has that helped him work out this one? It would appear so. Finally, Jesse. Top with cheese, add pizza sauce, make the base. Order these steps for making a margarita pizza earliest to latest. Well done, Jesse. You've done a fantastic job there. Thanks for taking on Sequencer. Jesse is now in first place with 110 points. But there is one player trying to stop Jesse from holding on to top spot, and that player is Anne Marie. So, what will you be playing, Anne Marie? Reo Rangatira. Thank you very much. Let's play Reo Rangatira. Anne Marie, please step forward. All right, congratulations. After being the lead from Mega Memory, can we keep it up? Hopefully. Hopefully. Let's see. Good luck. Here comes your first Te Reo Focus question. What is the number three in Māori? Tori. Correct. Is a kereru a native bird or a native insect? Native bird. There we go. What type of tree is a rako kirihimete? Kauri tree. Christmas tree. All right, next up. Is your ihu your thumb or your nose? Nose. <laughs> Not wasting time with that one. And finally, what is a Māori word for sleep? Nanais. Yeah. Moi. Oh, moi. That was the answer to our final Rio Rangatira question. A brilliant job. Thank you for taking on the challenge. Jesse holds on to the lead with 110 points. And Marie now has 100 points. Ragavi is on 40 points. And Yulp is also on 40 points. Which means we go now to a tiebreaker round. This will be just between Ragavi and Yulp. I will ask you both a question. The person who buzzes in first and gives me the correct answer will go through to the next round. However, if you buzz in and get the wrong answer, your opponent will go through. Good luck to you both. Here comes your tiebreaker question. Which came first? Back to the Future or Back to the Future Part 2? Yulp. Back to the Future. It's the correct answer. Yulp, congratulations. You are through to the next round. Which means, Raghavi, I'm sorry to say you have been eliminated from Brain Busters. Thank you very much for coming on to the show. What are you going to do with your $100 bank account? Probably save it. Save it up. Anything we're looking to save it for? No, I don't know yet. Keep it for a rainy day. Fair enough, Ragavi. Great having you here. And congratulations to our three remaining players. For them, it's one step closer to the Brain Buster. With only three players left, go time is just around the corner. Whoever our final two are, I hope they're ready for this.
Who will those two players be, Mikey? We find out right now as we take on the brain teaser. So all of our players today have gone through this specialist subject rounds and we're left with two options for our players to choose from. And today, those options are Spellbinder and Identifier. So Anne-Marie, Yulp and Jesse, please select which one you would like to play now. Thank you for voting. We'll start with Anne-Marie, who has decided to play Identifier. Jesse would like to play Spellbinder, and Yulp would like to play Identifier. There we go. Let's play Identifier. Yulp needs some serious points here if he wants to stay in this game. But how many can Jesse and Anne-Marie add to their scores? Let's find out. Good luck to everyone. Here comes your first Identifier. Identify the three mammals. Jesse. Horse, giant panda. And penguin. There's horse, there's giant panda. Dolphin is what he knew he should have selected. Eliminates the three countries that the Andes mountain range passes through. Anne-Marie. Peru, Nigeria, and Chile. Please, take on that. <laughs> Anne-Marie, <laughs> hoping that this one's right. But it was Argentina we were after. Wolf, squirrel, parakeet. Arrange these animals in order of gestation period from shortest to longest. Anne Marie. Parakeet, squirrel, and then wolf. I'm guessing. I'm guessing. Anne Marie. Guessing, she says. Guessing, I say. Wants the points back that she just lost. Nice. And you get them back as well. Well played, Anne-Marie. Iron, wax, salt water. Arrange these substances by electrical... <laughs> Anne-Marie. Iron, then salt water, then wax. Arrange these substances by electrical conductivity from best to poorest conductor. I swear. Well done, Anne Marie. Again, correct. Remove the three features you would find on a weather map. Stars. Um, roads and areas of high pressure. Yo. Go on, you do this. Needs this to be right yes. to have any chance of staying in this game. To force a tiebreaker. But wasn't what we're after. Needed isobars and cold fronts. And just like that, our brain teaser is complete. Thank you all for playing. Let's take a look at our final scores. Anne-Marie has 130 points. Jesse has 80 points. And needing to go for it, Yulp now finds himself on 20 points. Which does mean, Yulp, I'm sorry to say, you have been eliminated. But good on you for giving it everything. And you do now have a $100 bank account. So what are you going to do with the money, Yulp? Um, I think I'm going to spend it on a new phone or a PS5. Great choices there, Yulp. All the best with your football and go Liverpool. And congratulations to Anne-Marie and Jesse. For them, it's now on to the Brain Buster. The ultimate obstacle course, where our top two players will battle it out to see who will be crowned as today's Brain Buster champion. Stay right there. We'll find out very soon. No, my hooky my, it's been an intense show, but now it all comes down to this, the Brain Buster.
It's now go time for our final two contestants who are ready to take on the ultimate obstacle course. We ready to do this? Nice, let's go. Tolu, ua, taha, alu. Making their way into the Brain Buster is Jesse and Anne-Marie. Jesse looks to have the early lead. He's first to unclip and move down the neurotransmitter. And whoa, this is some fast feet flashing across the molecule steps. Anne-Marie already playing catch up, but is very quick across the Corpus Callosum. That's going to help. How's Jesse looking for the code? He's got it and heads up to fry it all over. Anne-Marie is doing the same, but no, she has put in the wrong code. She'll have to go back through the Corpus Colossum. Meanwhile, Jesse is moving swiftly up their climbing wall. Another great run by Anne-Marie through the Corpus Colossum, but she's really going to have to move because Jesse is at the end of the tunnel. Correct combination for Anne-Marie and now she can head up the prior to low. She's really digging deep here, keep it up. Jesse's still trying to figure out the correct combination. And that noise can mean only one thing. Jesse has already activated her switches. Anne-Marie still racing as hard as she can, but it's going to be Jesse sliding his way through the basal ganglia to collect the win. Despite getting unlucky with the code, Anne-Marie has still pushed herself through this race to complete the ultimate obstacle course. Just those hurdles left to go. Finish in style. Yeah, nice slide. <laughs> That's our race complete. Nice work. And we get the finish dance from Jesse there. Anne-Marie, bring it across this way. You don't have to, I'm not going to make you do a dance, Emery. Don't worry. Um, just quickly, your back's all right. You just clipped yeah. off the way through there. It's all good. Um, how much fun do we have on that obstacle course, Emery? Oh, really enjoyed it? Well, it seemed like you had heaps of fun on there. And thank you so much for coming on to the show as well, Emery. You've got yourself a $100 bank account. So what are you going to do with the money? Probably spend it on my friends. You're a very good friend. I'm sure they're all watching. Shout out to them. Thanks for coming to the show, Emery. Jesse, congratulations. A victory dance, and rightly so. You absolutely nailed it on the Brain Buster. What were you thinking when you are going across those poles? Because you were so fast. Uh, I just wanted to win. <laughs> and win is exactly what you did, Jesse. Congratulations. There is one thing left to do. It's taken on Amygdala. Jesse, congratulations once again on making it to the final round. Amygdala, you're here. And it showed before you were pretty happy to be here. What was with the celebration dance? I was happy that I won. <laughs> as you should be. A great job getting here as well. Did you think you are going to make it this far? No. But here we are. Now, Jesse, I think you're going to have to thank the wonderful Anne-Marie because she scored 130 points. You scored 80 points. And the good news for you, you get to take those points from Anne-Marie, meaning you're playing for $210. What do you think of that? That's uh, good. A lot of money, isn't it? So let's try and win as much as we can. Good luck, Jesse. Here we go. First up, after the ball, Cinderella leaves behind a glass what? Slipper. Correct. Which TV cartoon features Donatello, Michelangelo, Raphael, and Leonardo? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Correct. Beginning with B, which underwear brand? shares its name with a type of investment. Bonds. Correct. Which season completes the name of the band Five Seconds of... Summer. Nicely done. What insect is the lead character in B movie? A bee. You got it. Did the PlayStation 1 use CDs or DVDs for its games? DVDs. Quick answer on that. Oh. CDs. Which Frozen sister is older, Anna or Elsa? Elsa? Seen Frozen? Uh, yeah. Up there is one of the greats. And that is correct. Which famous female singer had a hit with Poker Face? 
Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift? Yeah, I'll go for it. Is this a guess? Yeah, if I know like nothing to do with singing. <laughs> it's not who it is, I'm afraid. It is, in fact, Lady Gaga. Uh. Moving on to our final amygdala question. What might you wear on your face to make certain films look 3D? Glasses. Happy with that? Yep. Final one? Yep. Gotta be glasses? Yep. It is glasses. Jesse, well done. Congratulations. Let's take a look and see you won $147. Congratulations, Jesse. What are you going to do with $147? Uh, maybe buy some football shirts or something. That's a great idea, Jesse. I'm sure you'll be wearing them when you watch all those Phoenix games. Congratulations, $147. If you feel like you can conquer the brain buster, then jump online and head to Hey Hey Games. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Until next time, that's it for Brain Busters.